Hello and welcome, my dear grade 9 elite students, to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. In today's video, we are revising for your coming math term 3 exam from the exam coverage part 1 learning objective 7. So let's get started from the video and see what we are learning today. Let's solve the below question which is on learning objective 7 where you have to find the probability of an event by using length of segments. Here we are going to solve questions 1 to 4 given on your math book on page 385. And if you remember, these are the questions which are from the lesson geometric probability. So let's solve these questions one by one. So in the lesson geometric probability, you have done a formula which is called the length probability formula that will help to solve all of these questions. Now, if you see, a picture is also given here. So this is point Z, Q, R and P all on the same straight line. The length of ZQ is 2. The length of, let's write it, ZQ is given to be 2 units of length. QR is given to be 3 units of length. RP is given to be 5 units of length. So if I really want to find the total length of ZP, then I have to add all these. So 2 plus 3 plus 5, so that's going to be 10 units. Now we are going to use all these numbers, all these lengths for solving these questions one by one. So here point M is chosen at random on ZP. So ZP is the longest line segment of length 10. We have to find the probability of each event. So the first one, let's solve it here is the probability that the point M is on ZQ. So if you remember from the lesson geometric probability, the length probability ratio, then it is always going to be the small segment that is ZQ divided by the total segment ZP. So you divide these two lengths and get your answer. So ZQ is 2, the total length is 10, so this is going to be 1 by 5. That's simple. That's the answer. Let's do another one. Question 2. So here you have to find the probability that M is on QR. So let's go to QR. QR is how much length? 3. So I'm going to divide this QR with the total length ZP. So this is going to be 3 over 10. That's the answer. So easy. Similarly, answer of question 3. Probability M is on RP. We are going to divide the length RP with the total length ZP. So RP is 5. ZP is 10, so this is 1 by 2. Last, question 4. You have to find the probability that M is on QP. So QP is how much? Let's see. If we want to find QP, we have to add QR and RP. So let's write it here. QP is QR plus RP. So this is going to be 3 plus 5, which is 8. So this length is going to be 8 divided by 2. You can simplify, divided by 2, so this comes out to be 4 over 5. So these are your complete answers for learning objective 7 questions 1 to 4. Now check your final answer for question 1, the answer is 1 by 5. For question 2, the answer is 3 by 10. For question 3, the answer is 1 by 2. And for question 4, the answer is 4 by 5. So this is how you get the final answers. I hope you've understood this slide on learning objective 7 and lesson of geometric probability. That brings us to the end of today's session. Thank you for watching the video and if you found it useful, do like the video, share it with your friends, comment if you have any questions or query and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel Mathematics Made Easy for more revision videos. Until then, this is Ms. Ruchika signing off from today's session. See you in my next video. Bye students.